Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to have some discussion about reproduction and development from Miller and Hardy zoology. Let's move to the question number one. All of the following systems are required for homeostasis, except we know that except for the home, uh, reproductive system, all systems are needed for homeostasis. So right option will be alpha. Reproductive system is not the basic uh, requirement for the maintenance activities of an individual. So all of the body systems are actually working for various types of maintenance activities. The reproductive system actually works for the maintenance of a species or a population. Most primitive type of organisms are probably, obviously they are simple, they were having simple strategies to divide. So we can choose asexual reproducing organism as their answer, such as bacteria, they were dividing with the help of binary fission. Common form of asexual reproduction in lower invertebrates, it includes all of the following except Parthenogenesis is not found in lower invertebrate. It is the characteristics of actually higher invertebrates which developed later on as compared to fission, fragmentation, or budding. Number four, it usually gives rise to equal size cells. Equal size cells can be produced by the process of binary fission. Other types of divisions such as budding, schizogony, such as multiple fission and fragment fission they produce usually cells with unequal size. Number five, when platforms divide by forming multiple constrictions along the body, this type of, uh, type of division is called multiple fission, such as in the case of planaria, when there are multiple points of breakage, they, and they are resulting into the new planaria bodies, such type of fission or breakage is called multiple fission. Number six, gemmules, they are found in sponges during. Gemmules are actually internal buds. That's why right option will be beta. They are found as a source of internal buds in various sponges. Fetal laceration in sea anemone is the example of, is the example of fragmentation in certain sea anemones such as glass enthosua. It's a type of asexual reproduction that can occur in various varieties of sea anemones in which a portion of the animal base as you can see over here in the diagram the portion they are breaking off they are splitting off and forming new sea anemone bodies number eight in fact mature exospecies do not undergo parthenogenesis can sometimes be activated to develop without fertilization by all of the following methods except Actually, eggs can be stimulated to, uh, for, uh, for the development to form the next embryo or individual by pricking them with a needle or even by the high concentration of calcium or by altering their temperature. But extreme changes in pH can actually destroy these cells. So delta is not the way to activate such cells. The only vertebrates which have uh, been observed having parthenogenesis, they are the Komodo dragons. Otherwise, parthenogenesis is observed in certain types of insects, but it is uncommon in vertebrates. All of the following hymen hymenopterans, they are produced sexually except. Actually, most of the sterile worker females, they are deployed, reproductive females, they are also deployed, or so do females in case of Honeybees colony, they are deployed and they are produced sexually. But sterile male, they are haploid and they are produced parthenogenetically from an unfertilized egg. So right option will be beta. As you can see over here, that if the egg is unfertilized, it will develop into the drones, unfertilized or sterile, uh, sterile or uh, fertile male maybe. But in this case, males is the right option that males, they're always produced from unfertilized egg. Either they're sterile or fertile. Number 10, broad cost spawning. It means the release of large number of eggs as well as sperms into the open environment. It is usually leading to the external fertilization and is a common strategy used by fishes. 
Number 11, spermatophores, they are the sperm packets, which can be observed in all of the following except they can be observed in arrowworms, leeches, insects, and other invertebrates, which lay their sperms, release their sperms in the form of sperm packets, which are later on uptaken by the female. But birds, they do not produce such structures which are produced by the invertebrate groups. Hermaphroditism, uh, hermaphroditism could be more beneficial in which of the following group? Those groups which are relatively non mutile or sessile, they are having advantage of being hermaphrodite as compared to motile animals. So right option is alpha. Number 13, when an animal possesses one sex in one phase of a life and have opposite sex in the other phase of life, the phenomena is known as sequential hermaphroditism. Protendry is the condition when during hermaphroditism, uh, androus part or male part develops first, or protogynous mean development of female part first, but here the right option will be Charlie. It can be observed in certain snails, slugs, as well as in some species of fish, such as clownfish, rhesus, as well as common slipper shell. Highest fecundity or highest production of eggs is observed in fishes, which can lay a large number of eggs in one breeding season. Number 15, in which of the following group reproductive strategies are most diverse among vertebrates? Among vertebrates, amphibians they use a variety of reproductive strategies as compared to other groups, so right option will be beta over here. Number 16, one of the following is having longer developmental period as compared to others in the list. Amphibians, <clears throat> they are comparatively having longer developmental periods because they are relatively well developed or higher organisms as compared to fishes. And other organisms in the list, they are fishes, so we are going to prefer the option delta. Number 17, reptiles are, they may be oviparous or ovoviviparous in certain cases. Right option is delta. The role of allantois in reptile is, allantois it is involved in gases exchange as well as waste storage in amniotic organisms. Most birds lack reproductive organ, male reproductive organ, penis, but the exception is Certain species of waterfowl or polar birds, polar region birds, they are having uh, a developed penis or male reproductive structures. Otherwise, it is missing in most of the birds and sperm transfer is with the help of cloaca or cloacal push only. Number 20, human sperm and over, they show similarities in following respect. Both are haploid, yes, they are. Both are having approximately same size, no, they are having different size. Both carry identical genetic makeup. No, X they carry more genetic makeup uh, due to presence of mitochondrial or contribution of mitochondrial DNA as well. Both possess good mobility. No, only sperms they carry good mobility as compared to X. So right option is alpha. So both of them they are haploid. Otherwise, uh, the other properties in the list they are differences. Number twenty one, production of slightly acidic fluid with citrate. As a main nutrient source is the function of is the function of a prostate gland, which is a single and largest gland in the male reproductive system. The other two helping glands are paired seminal vesicle and bulbourethral gland. Secretion of bulbourethral gland they are alkaline and used for neutralization of urethra, which is mostly acidic. And prostate it produces citrate and certain other nutrients. For the in the semen, while seminal vesicle they also add some nutrients as well as further liquid medium over here. Number twenty-two main function performed by bulbo urethral gland in human is neutralization by the production of uh, alkaline secretion and neutralization of urethra helps in the easy passageway of the sperms. Motile and completely mature cell with flagellum is obviously sperm metazoa or sperm. Spermatid, as you can uh, observe in the case of 
meiosis process of spermatogenesis that spermatids they are the stage before formation of sperms spermatogonium and they are the germline cells and spermatocytes may be primary or secondary but the final cell which is formed after complete meiosis as well as spermiogenesis or maturation is the spermatozoa or sperm so right option will be delta number 24 Sertoli cells they are found in Sertoli cells they are found inside seminiferous tubules and they are responsible for the production of liquid medium as you can observe over here uh, when we can uh, when we observe the cross section of seminiferous tubules you can have the view of certain types of cells such as germ cells primary spermatocytes secondary spermatids as well as spermatozoa the mature cells but certain cells which are responsible for the secretion of liquid medium for the sperms when the sperms they are within the testes they are known as sertoli cells so right option will be charlie their location is inside seminiferous tubules number 25 how many sperms could be there in 3 to 4 ml healthy semen of women 1 ml contains 1 million so 3 to 4 ml healthy semen it could have 300 to 400 million sperms Number twenty-six, erectile tissues of the male reproductive organ. They are, they are basically of two types: carpora cavernosa as well as spongiosum. So right option is delta. Carpora cavernosum. They are present the upper side, while spongiosum is the lower part, which is surrounding urethra. So right option over here is delta. Number twenty-seven, enzymes. of the sperms which assist in penetration into the secondary oocyte is acrosin which is found in the acrosomal region of the <clears throat> head of the sperms and it helps in the penetration of sperm via corona a zona pellicida and corona radiata but acrosin enzyme it is released from the sperm to allow it to pass through from zona pellicida so right option over here will be alpha Number twenty-eight, mitochondria, which are found in the mid piece of the sperm, they are they are actually of a spiral shape, as you can observe over here in this diagram. That mitochondrions, which are present over here, they are forming spiral shapes or spiral structures over there. Number twenty-nine, which of the following is not the function performed by follicle stimulating hormone in males? Follicle stimulating hormone or FSH. is not concerned with spermatogenesis but it helps in maturation increasing uh, increase in testosterone production or stimulation of sertoli cells for liquid medium one of the following is not the function of testosterone in males testosterone it's a uh, magic hormone which performs a variety of functions in human body such as muscular growth secondary sex characteristics after puberty or at puberty and control of primary sex characteristic as well as the embryonic stages mm -hmm. but fat deposition is not the function of testosterone so right option is delta after fertilization embryo implants itself to the which part of the uterus endometrium is a major portion where blastula or blastocyst of human embryo is implanted so right option will be alpha Thirty-two. The development of secondary oocyte into ovum is completed in. Actually, it is completed in uterine tube because secondary oocyte is released during ovulation into the oviduct or fallopian tube, and it is converted into the ovum only after it receives sperm stimulus. So, for conversion of secondary oocyte into ovum in case of human body. and there is the requirement of fertilization process so it it, it will be formed in the fallopian tube for a short time and is converted into a zygote after the period of nuclear of the sperm so right option will be alpha number 33 estrogen is a dominant hormone during proliferative phase while during secretory or luteal phase there is the dominance of progesterone and ovulation phase is dependent upon dependent upon the peak of alex 
ruptured follicles they are the source of progesterone which are responsible for the further thickening of endometrium during secretory or luteal phase number 35 which one of the following stops ovulation during pregnancy ovulation is inhibited due to the release of progesterone during pregnancy so right option will be charlie as progesterone can increase and can inhibit the release of lh as well as fsh because it exerts negative feedback over there even the menstrual cycle they are regulated by pituitary gonadotrophins fsh as well as lh which perform on the rest of the functions of menstrual cycles by inducing the production of progesterone as well as estrogen human embryos term this fetus at the start of ninth week or third month of pregnancy or you can say after eighth week or at the start of third month or after completion of two months the human embryo is termed as fetus the stage of human embryo at which implantation take place is blastula stage during which embryo is implanted uh, in the uterus site usually mother become aware of the fetal movements during second trimester trimester of the pregnancy mean after 3 months the movements may become apparent last question is fetal waste in intestine which are removed due to claustrum they are termed as they are termed as meconium and, and they are the first waste of the fetus so right option over here will be beta that was all about today's lecture thank you so much allah hafiz